Hey, you're sideways. Hey, Jack. Yo. Is that me? Hey. What's up? You're sideways. You're sideways. I've always been like this. I can't be sideways. And that hold means I've been please. sideways all Hold, day. please. Hold, please. There. That's better. See Does how that easy work? You? Yes. How are I'm, you? I'm good. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. My feet are cold. I had to put it, put, I don't know where this draft is coming from all of a sudden. Well, you I are feel in like Iceland. I feel, well, yeah, but I've been sitting here for two, three, four days and my ankles have never been cold until now. I guess it's time to go, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we all make our own choices. Right? Yeah, I know. How are you, Ted Gould the third? I'm I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get through this whole thing like everybody else. Yeah, I hear you. Look at all that yeah. gray in your beard. When did that happen? Take it easy, sis. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy, greasy. You gotta get you gotta get this lighting like I have, and then you can't. Uh, yeah, see well, it. it ain't gonna happen. So I figured that it was since first of all, thank you for putting this on. Right? It's amazing. Second, I would be remiss if I did not tell the world how we met. <laughs> oh wait. Because it's one yeah. of the it's one of the best stories ever. Set it up, but I have a I get a change for the for the line. Don't say the Okay, all right, all right. All right. Tell you what you're saying. Oh Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> I thought of this already like, two days ago. I was like, oh, go ahead, start, start telling oh, your, okay, your so, story. So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell the people the story because you already know the story. So it's like 1990 something. And uh, there's a festival that they used to put on in Oakland called Festival at the Lake, which was like uh, Freak Nick West is what it was, bomb low party. And I'm walking, you know, I'm just young and, uh uncultured and i'm walking down the walking down the lake with my 40 ounce and you know i say uh i see this girl with a guitar and uh i'm like hey i know i know you know fast car right you know fast car by tracy chapman why don't you sing that and, and, and i uh, was like ah it won't be for another 25 years until I have the sense to make this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I played it. <laughs> well, it's you were, shirt. you huh? became like my first collaborator and musical uh, uh, partner in crime out there in the Bay Area. So I'm always appreciative of that meeting and uh, <laughs> love you, love you till the wheels fall off, sis. You know it. Oh man, same, same, same. Ted just uh, just threw down some tasty pea bass on uh, my single that's coming out in a couple weeks. So we're excited about that. We, no, for those who don't know, the P bass is the P stands for precision. I think we need to clear that up. Okay. All right. Sure. Whatever. They were whatever. Happen. Whatever. <laughs> so. Nobody asked when Carrie was playing her cello. They weren't like, oh, I don't know. Well, you said P, uh, never mind. Because, <laughs> you know, our conversations go off the deep end real fast. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's true. It's true. Yes. Well, what are you up to these days? What do you want to share with the people? Well, the, what I want to share with the people, number one, is last year I released a great, I call it a great album, because I'm yeah. proud of it. And it's yeah. great not just because it's songs that I wrote. It's great because of all the people that played on it. I wish that I could name them all right now in one sitting. Um, I do want to acknowledge that I had two people, Dr. Fink and Levi Caesar from Prince's Bands playing on it. And uh, Funkatopia listed it as one of the top 20 funk albums of 2019. The album is called St. Anne. Um, the artist's name is Brother Theodore, and that is available at brothertheodore.bandcamp.com. All fine uh, streaming and purchasing outlets. So if anyone is so inclined oh, to. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> How's the audio on this thing? Is it pretty good? Yeah, I hear you fine. I mean, I don't know what they're getting, but we're okay. uh, you're crystal clear. I suppose cool. what they're getting is, is is what is up to them. Well, but, I just uh, I just watched I just watched your last guest and it sounded good. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah, and it sounded, I heard him, I'm hearing you just as clearly as I heard him, so. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. shoot. Um, Dang. Yeah. You Why don't you to... play some music, and I'll t turn my camera off, and then get dressed again, because I'm cold, and I'll wrap my feet up again. Yes, please turn, not... your, turn your camera off as you get dressed. <laughs> I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do, um, if I could just say real quick. <laughs> You got What's your that? ticket? You got your ticket? Do I have my ticket? Yeah. What ticket? Ticket to the gun show. Oh, yeah. That was so easy. Oh, Christ God. almighty. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I do want to say before I, before I start that I am um, a bass player, Bob. Um, and most people know the bass as a you know, really supportive instrument. Did you plug your ears? Oh my God. You like I was that adding song. your story. I was like, oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so, but, but I like to try different things with the bass and, and, you know, speak my, tell my stories through my main instrument. And so I'm going to try to train. I think, I think that music should always be able to translate to like bass and rhythm. So I'm going to do that now, do some looper stuff. And I'm going to start with a song um, that it, I think everybody will recognize. It's not mine, but I think that it's very um, appropriate at this time. So I'm going to okay. do, a, do, do a little loop thing and pretend like no one's watching. Cool? All right. Well, I won't be. I mean, I'm going to turn my video off. I'll be watching. All right. Change your clothes. <laughs> Here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's a little tune I wrote called Fragile. Still waiting on Sting to send me the check. <laughs> Still waiting on is Sting to send me the check. Is it Sting or Isaac Hayes? What's that? I said, is it Sting? Is it Sting or is it Isaac Hayes? Have you well, not Isaac heard Hayes Isaac do... Hayes version? No, I have not. Oh yeah, I hear that. Yeah, you know uh, that's a great. Have you changed your clothes yet? Oh yeah. Why you miss my face? Yes. You look like you have on the same clothes. Well, I just took my clothes off to put on that tank top to make my point. Again, to make your story more, to give your story boom, boom. Understood. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I should hope so, you know. I do. I do. I do. It's not easy playing second fiddle. <laughs> Never, never second fiddle. Um, shall I shall I do another or you want to talk some more? Yeah. Do I want yeah. to what? Do I, I'm sure they would love that. Let's watch these two. <laughs> Sister. <coughs> well then I look forward to that. Like, coming to Jazz Fest and picking on you, but I guess I have to wait till October now. Dude, you know, I've never played Jazz Fest before. Should we do that? Is, what's up? Is that what is that like an offer? Well, I had I had like three Jazz Fest dates. Oh, I didn't realize that. Excuse me. Yeah, mind. I just moved back to New Orleans. I was gonna play my first Jazz Fest ever, and uh, um, yeah, but well, you know, but you just move them. You still play there them. Is, there is there is nothing. There's nothing better right now than the quarantined festival. <laughs> Jazz well, that's Fest, was... Smash Fest. Smash Fest. They have one every year. They have one Anybody every year. Maybe not this year, but every other year. <laughs> Did you see uh, the cast iron chef making crawfish etouffee earlier? I did. Yeah, see, so I was like, we don't, we've got everything we need. We, we got, got everything we need. We got everything we need. We have our own jazz fest. Boom. Nice. So, my friend. Yes. My friend. I'd like to do another song. I would like that too. This song is um, from my record. Again, Brother Theodore, St. Anne, available at bandcamp.com <laughs> or Brother Theodore, bandcamp.com, iTunes, all that stuff. That's a PSA. <laughs> That's a PSA. Um, this tune, uh, this tune is called Blood. And um, just a little bit of backstory. I was one day there was like this shooting, and I was like about to get on like this Facebook soapbox, right? And I was gonna like, I had this cleverly well thought out post about gun control. I use Grammarly and everything. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, all my eyes were dotted, my teeth were crossed. That shit was money. Right? And then I, one of my bandmates, I was in a band called the Duvets and all of the, just stop laughing at me. And all the, all the people in the band were like, you're still laughing, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is our relationship. Anyway, I'm gonna tell my story. Okay. So, so, so my friend who, you know, my bandmates were all Googlers and YouTubers. And so um, then I get the report that there's a shooting at YouTube and mm -hmm. the singer of the band was actually like 50 feet away from the shooter. And I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna make this post about this, but I ain't really gonna do anything. And so many, so many of us, I mean, it's just the, the, like the world we live in or whatever. It's so easy to get on and post a meme or something like that, but to take real action takes real work. And so anyway, it'll make sense. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a regular cough. That's a regular cough. Everybody. So it's, it's a regular cough. Um, so anyway, I'm going to play this song. It's called, it's called blood. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it.
I got blood on my hands. I got blood on my hands. I can type it on my Facebook or post it on Instagram, but I got blood, I got blood on my hands. Armchair politics, superior positions, talking about a better life, just a hoping and a wishing. I got my bullhorn so I can scream my truth out loud. While the brother standing next to me gets lost off in the crowd. See, I got blood on my hands. Uh, I got blood on my hands. See, I can type it on my Facebook or post it on Instagram. But I got blood, I got blood on my hands. Uh, to feed your lies if you give enough ammunition. Uh, you only hear your own side if you fall prey to the algorithm. Another died on the schoolyard, but you can't say that we don't care. We won't march on the boulevard, but we'll be sending up thoughts and prayers. We got blood on our hands. Uh, we got blood on our hands. Will somebody hear me? We can type it on our Facebook or post it on Instagram. We got blood, we got blood on our hands. You're either preaching to the choir or talking to the wall, and no one hears each other. Until the sound of silence falls in the silence that surrounds you when the lights begin to fade. You're left with these words and the promises you made huh? in the silence. In the silence. In the silence. You better hear me when I say we got blood on our hands. You got blood on your hands. See, I can type it on my Facebook or post it on Instagram, but I got blood, I got blood on my hands. I got blood, I got blood on my hands. I got blood, I got blood. I got blood, I got blood on my hands. And Yay. that's that. That's that. <laughs> that's that, Duncan Shane. Oh, well done, Chuck. Well done. <laughs> I miss you, Amelia. What's new for you? What's your next project? You know, um, right now, while everything is is kind of crazy, um, you know, I've been doing the online teaching thing with my, you know, TED Talks base, and um, the YouTube channel is constantly growing. Um, mm -hmm definitely looking for more ways to monetize that by way of memberships and um, having people, because uh, a lot of the YouTube lessons are free. Um, mm -hmm. So I also want to give a shout out, man, like really, 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 um, you know, I'm a full-time music teacher as well, teaching um, K through eight here in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, this year, moving back to New Orleans, and um, becoming a teacher in a very different environment than California has been tough. I mean, it was a tough transition, really tough building relationships and everything. And a lot of days I was <clears throat> really um, unsure about what my future held as, a, as an educator. Um, mm -hmm. And then things started to turn around and relationships were starting to form and my band was starting to sound better and all this stuff. 
and then this this thing happens right um but i have never ever been prouder of a community a school community a group of people than i am um to work at Achille Academy of New Orleans, um, the way that they have banded together to uh, provide technology packs and, and work packets for kids um, within like a day or whatever, set up Google Classroom and, and all that. Um, just my uh, enrichment team is amazing. Um, so I, I, I wanna shout that out. Um, you know, this is very different from Katrina, it's very different from anything we've ever seen before. Um, and our, our kids are kind of already, you know, having to play catch up in a lot of ways. And so um, the school and the leadership over there is doing every single thing they, that they can to, to, to make it pop for them, you know what I mean? And, and to make, um, you know, give them an equitable situation. So um, I, I did want to throw that out. Very, very proud of that. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I, I'm reminded of a quote from Shawshank Redemption uh, when Andy and um, Red are outside talking and Andy's like, you know, you can get busy living or you can get busy dying. And so um, as strange as things are, um, I think we, I know for me, I can only speak for myself, but I feel like, you know, I got to get ready for the, you know, this may be the new norm for a long time who knows you know definitely for the foreseeable future so you know i'm just you know trying to learn new skills get back into uh um uh creating original music trying to step off into maybe the electronic music uh realm as well so you know just making it do what it do every day being grateful for what i have and yeah that's it all right sounds good yep yep uh, what about you? Yeah. What, what what about you? You you got you super busy online. Super. I know you got that that single that I just played on. What's happening with you? Um. Yeah, I'm. Uh, well, I've got my my podcast, which keeps me busy. A matchup yeah. podcast. Yeah. And uh, got uh, this will be my second single this year. Probably have one more before the big project comes with the towards the end of the year which is the the Icelandic album I've been working on for 12 years nice and uh I'm also working on some writing projects and uh one of them not related to music not entirely related to music and the other one is the the album after the Icelandic one so uh yeah I'm uh, I got a lot Lot going on. You, you're one of you're one of the most prolific artists that I that I know. I mean, definitely in the top five. You write so much and release so much. Um, hey, you remember remember that guy that used to be when we were out on the hate when we were going right. to that little open mic on the hate. Sunrise. What's his name? Sun, sunrise or sunset? Yeah, I think it was sunrise. Mo moving. Did, did his wife his wife was moving, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I, I think, think so. so. I think so. And they had children with names that were. Yeah, I knew you were gonna ask me that again. I don't know. Of course. I feel like I feel like they weren't really real. Like I feel like they only materialized when you and I were together. <laughs> and, like when we weren't together, they just went back into their. Sort of like Mr. Snuffleupagus. Exactly. We were the yeah. only people who ever saw them. And I don't remember anything about their personalities, except I, I remember their hair, their clothes, and their children, and his smile. And he was, he was a, well, I guess I should stop talking because he had a name. That's why it's, it's so mythical, because I don't remember, you know, like a conversation we had with these with this guy it was just he was just there doing things and we I were i think he was there i was not taking hallucinogenics at that time. we went to his house who went to his house we went to their house didn't we go to their house no 
Mm. Maybe that was like one day I shouldn't have walked home from school. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, those were those were definitely good times. They were good times. Good times. I'm gonna let you go because our next guest is here, Megan Hayes. Do it, do it, Amelia. Much love to you always. How's your mom? Real quick, how's your mom? She's good. She's good. She's listening earlier. She'll be sad. I don't know if she's listening now. She might still be. I don't know. Well, but, you give uh, her big old virtual hugs from me. I will. And she like can this, watch this. Like this. Like that. Well, she can watch you do that and she can figure it out herself. Yes. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. How's your mom, by the way? What's uh she's hanging, man. You know, she's hanging. Yeah. She's yeah. hanging. I can't I can't see her, so I, I disinfected and brought a uh an iPad over there. So Okay. We do what we got to yeah. do. Yeah, All right. Yep. 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 All right. Thank All you right, so friend, much. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Love you. Bye. -bye. Bye.